Good evening, PA Figs here. So tonight we're going to do something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and that is make a Black Madeira fig jam. This um, will actually be made out of all Black Madeira figs. So I've got a whole bunch out of my tree, and I am going to make them into a fig jam. So the first thing I do is I get a pot, get the pot warming up, and I'm going to take some water, and I'm going to make a syrup. So it's nothing too fancy. You want the syrup to, once you put the figs in, have just enough coverage over the figs. And I don't have a lot of figs. I've got maybe, I don't know, 15. So I'm not going to make a um, large portion of syrup. So I put in maybe a cup of water, and now I'm going to put in half that in sugar. So this is going to be half a cup of sugar. I'll probably need to add a little bit more water, but I'll add it once the figs are chopped up. Okay, so I've got that going. Let me get a spoon. All right, I've got my spoon. Let me get that stirred. And I want to get that heated to a light boil, not a real bubbly boil but just a light boil to get it, get that sugar melted. If you heat it too fast or too hot, that sugar will actually burn. And you don't want to do that. So, okay, I'll be back when this is melted. All right, so that sugar has all been absorbed into the water. It hasn't quite melted yet, but while it's melting, I'm actually going to go ahead and cut up my figs. All right, so you can see I've got a pretty large plate of figs here. Not all of these are black Madeira, but I'm going to pick through the ones that are. And cut off the tops of them. And then I'm going to cut these into whatever size I want in the jam. Oh, come on. Tell me that isn't a beautiful sight. I mean, the black Madeira fig is just beautiful, and I can't wait to see how it tastes in, in a jam like this. But, all right, so... I don't want real big chunks in my jam, so I'm going to cut these up pretty small. You're going to have some chunks pretty much no matter what you do unless you blenderize your figs. Um, I'm not going to go to that extent, but I'm going to cut them up pretty small. Now I've got to be careful, my sugar solution is boiling. I don't want it to actually boil, I want it just to melt a little bit. So, so I'm turn this down a little bit. And I'm going to continue cutting up my figs. And as the figs are done, I can go ahead and toss them in there. They're just going to simmer and melt and become nice and gooey. And I'll show you what that looks like once I get these guys all cut up. All different ripeness on these black Madeiras. Some of them are super ripe. Others, they're a little, a little less than ripe. You know, maybe not perfectly ripe, but still pretty darn good. See, this one here wasn't as ripe as I would like, but it'll do. I've been having a problem with SWD. So SWD is a um, type of insect that actually lays its eggs in your figs and causes their larvae to hatch in the figs. Because of that, I've been throwing out a lot of my figs, and I've been picking a lot of them ripe. I've begun to spray with Sinosad, I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, and I've been making sure to bag every fig as it's ripening. It certainly hasn't completely taken care of the problem. I'm still throwing out probably 25% of my ripening figs, but it's at least made it better. Um, if I didn't take care of it at all, I would probably lose 90% of my figs. So, it's helping. Good sanitation, making sure that I pick up my figs 
if I miss any, if the birds get to them, I have to make sure not to let them spoil on the ground, or else the SWD or spotted wing drosophilia um, really goes crazy. So, you know, good orchard maintenance has made a big difference, and hopefully the spinal sad will take care of the rest of it. Um, spinal sad is an organic pesticide. It's actually uh, made from, I believe, some sort of fermentation, pro some natural fermentation process. So for people that are worried about using non-organic chemical sprays, it's a good solution. I can't say that I care completely, but I will say that the one thing that turned me on to figs originally was the fact that they were pretty much pest free. Unfortunately, I was one of the few lucky people that um, has had a problem with pests. And I'm checking these to see if I can find any of the, the larvae to show you. Um, I haven't seen any lately other than some figs that have been really, really bad. I mean, really rotten. And you can smell them. They're, they smell very spoiled when you cut them open. And all of these smell pretty good. So either the larvae has not gotten to the size I can see, or these figs were protected enough by the bags, as well as um, the spinal sad and everything else I've had going on. So um, if you want to know what kind of bags I'm talking about, if you do a search on eBay or Amazon for organza bags, they're the little bags you see a lot at weddings or bridal showers. They're kind of um, netted. Those bags I've been putting on all of my figs as they begin to ripen. So anytime a dark fig, for instance, turns black, I've been putting it on the, the dark figs. And it makes a, a huge difference in not only the SWD, but also in keeping wasps out. Um, if you get the green bags, they keep the birds off better than the purple bags. For me, I haven't had any problems with the birds once I have the bags on. It seems to scare them off. I had a terrible time in the spring with the birds eating my figs. And they don't eat them. They just peck them. And it's annoying. I'd almost prefer that they ate them. At least then I'd feel like, okay, you know, the birds were hungry. I've got a lot of figs. You know, I don't mind sharing. But no, they peck the fig. Just They put their beak through it once. That's all they would do. If you left it there long enough, they might come back and take a chunk out. But for the most part, they just kind of peck at it and, you know, ruin the fig. The dog loves them. I don't mind giving him those. I personally don't want to eat anything that a bird's pecked. Um, oh, speaking of which, going back to the SWD, you know, it might sound a little gross. People might be worried about it. They're not going to hurt you eating the, the larvae that might be in there. And, you know, I've been fortunate I haven't found any as I go through these. I was kind of hoping I'd find one, but again, the only ones I've been finding have been on figs that have been extremely spoiled, and I wouldn't want to eat those anyway. But the larvae aren't going to hurt you. It's not like um, a scene out of aliens going to happen where you're going to eat them and then, you know, some alien bug is going to pop out of your stomach. You know, you probably eat more bugs and, as gross as this is, bugs and insects and other things in your daily uh, habits than you would ever imagine. It's just that most of the fruits and vegetables you get have been either fumigated or refrigerated to kill off everything that may or may not be living inside of them. So, pleasant thought, I know, but uh, it's kind of the way of life. Not going to hurt you, a little extra protein. Alright, let me finish cutting these up and then I'll show you the pot. Alright, so, you can see I've got my figs in here. And you can see I've just got enough syrup in here to just barely cover these figs. And now all I'm going to do is keep these on medium heat and let them simmer down until they evaporate and um, become more of a syrupy jammy type of mixture. So I'll let that go and I'll be back. Okay, so just a quick update. It's been going for about 20 minutes now. Um, I had, didn't have the heat quite high enough. You can see it's still not 
quite high enough. It should be simmering just slightly, but um, just want to give you an idea of kind of where the figs are at. You can see they're starting to melt down and it's getting a little syrupy, but uh, a ways to go still. It's got to thicken and get a lot of this water out of there, so it's, it's got to keep going. You can see all the seeds on the side here. It's going to be a, a definitely a seedy jam, which I'm not usually a big fan of, but that's when it's raspberries and stuff. The fig seeds are a little bit different in that they're hollow and um, they're not as getting your teeth type of seeds. They're more of a add a crunch to your to your jam. So we'll see. This is the first time I've tried this, but um, the flavor with the black Madeiras in there should be absolutely amazing. So stay tuned. All right, it's been probably about 45 minutes, maybe even a little bit longer. And you can see we're starting to get there, slowly but surely, on the Black Madeira Fig Jam. See, it's starting to thicken up. The pieces of fig are getting, I don't know what the quite word is. I don't want to say mushy, it's not the right word, but getting uh, heated down to where they're starting to become more of a syrup as opposed to a fig or a liquid. So I think I'm going to give this probably another half an hour of simmer, get it real thick, and then uh, put it into a jar. I'll be back. Okay, I think the Black Madeira Fig Jam is done. Take a look. And look how good that looks. Holy smokes. I mean, that just looks beautiful. The uh, jam took a lot longer than I expected to solidify, but uh, now that it has, and I actually cooled it down a little bit, you can see it's starting to thicken. And uh, it looks beautiful. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. That is delicious. Unbelievable flavor. Um, if you've ever had a baked fig or a baked apple pie, that fruity flavor that you get with the figs from them being baked, it's in there. And uh, if you've ever had a black Madeira, that little bit of aftertaste it has that makes the black Madeira, you know, so amazing, well, that's what this jam tastes like. It's got that baked fig flavor with a little bit of that black Madeira kick. Oh man, that is delicious. All right, I gotta put some of this into this jar and then I've got some biscuits baking. Any type of jam on a fresh buttermilk biscuit is just heaven. <clears throat> so you can see this. I mean, just look. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, come on, come on. Tell me that doesn't look good. Oh yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. You know, I guess I need to consider myself lucky. Most people uh, would die to have a Black Madeira fig. I had enough Black Madeiras this year to where I was looking for other things to try with them. And I was able to make this fig jam. Ah, uh, hear that buzzer? That buzzer means that my freshly made, freshly baked buttermilk biscuits are ready to come out of the oven. Let's finish this off. I think I filled this jar a little bit. Too much, but no worries as we're going to have some buttermilk biscuits. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. My biscuit is done. Let's cut her open. Oh, it's a little hot. Holy yuck, that's hot. All right. There's the biscuit. And let's put some of the Black Madeira Fig Jam on here. <laughs> oh, that looks good. You see, it's still a little bit um, liquidy because it's still warm. Look at that. My God. 
if that's not heavenly, it's gotta be close. All right, let's see how it tastes. Oh, that is good. All right, Black Madeira Fig Jam, a must-have on your bucket list. Let me give some, make one for my wife and see how she likes it. All right, and a little fig jam for Teresa. Go ahead, Teresa, give one a try. What do you think? It's really good. Isn't it really good? It's melt in your mouth. <laughs> I wasn't. I mean, I was expecting it to be decent, like a fig jam, but, but you could put a lot more on this. You can. <laughs> it's unbelievable, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> I was yeah. surprised too. I didn't want to give you too much of a overreaction until you tried it. I really like it. <laughs> it's laugh out loud good, isn't it? It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> And all it has is on it in it is a little bit of uh, sugar, like a half cup of sugar, and then just black Madeira figs and a little water. That's it. And you just melt the water that off, whole and thing is half the whole thing, yeah. It's really good. Unbelievable. Definitely make it again. All right, black Madeira fig jam. Add it to your bucket list. This is PA Figs. Have a good night.